What's up everyone, this is Ryuki here and today I'll be unboxing the Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Collector's Edition. So as you can see here, this is the front of the box. I'm assuming this is a slider because it's uh, taped on to the actual box. And as you can see there is a limited edition Katana Replica Letter Opener. This was a pre-order bonus. Uh, after taking a look around the package itself, then you get to the Katana of course the replica that is so as you can see here this is the front the left the right the bottom the top and the back so as you can see here it gives you a pretty clear description of what you're going to get inside if you want to pause and read that, it's up to you. But uh, full game, steel book, shinobi statue, map, three replica game coins, digital soundtrack, and a collectible art book. That's what's included in this uh, collector's edition. So it's time to get to the next item. So here is the limited edition katana replica. Uh, letter opener that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is a pre-order bonus. It even says here, let me zoom in so y'all can see that a little better. Warning, this is not a toy. Children should not use this item without adult supervision. Of course, of course. Um, so yeah, take a look around this. I'm not going to do the pause shots on this because uh, there's really no need for it here. But uh, yes. Yeah, Pretty much what it looks like. So uh, it's going to be a little tricky to open because it seems pretty solid. It's time to work that magic. So uh, just be aware when you open this up, it's going to be a little tricky to open it up and not damage it. Um, it's, it's stuck pretty well in there in this box. Um, obviously it comes covered up pretty well. Here's the stand. And this is going to be really nice to display. Oh, yeah. Even though it's a letter opener. And this is the uh, replica katana. It has a little bit of weight to it, surprisingly. A little bit of weight. Oh, that is pretty interesting. Um, but, yeah. Got to be careful. See how I can uh, open this. Oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's really nice. Wow. Definitely going to use this shortly. But yeah. Uh, let's get this all together now. As you can see, this is a pretty nice uh, pre-order bonus. It really is. It looks pretty nice too. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all how it looks when it's displayed. So there y'all go. Now it's time for the next phase. On to the next phase, which is this. Uh, so I do want to mention the katana, though it looks cool and all, the letter opener uh, is very dull. So it, <laughs> it's not good for trying to cut this. So you're most likely going to have to use a uh, sharp you know, maybe a knife or a box uh, cutter to uh, open this. Um, but yeah, it's a slider. And uh, get that out of the way. And this is the box itself. So as usual, we're going to take a look around the box and then get into what's inside. So as you can see here, this is the front. The left. The right. The bottom. The top. The back. So now that's done. Uh, gonna try to open this up. It's a little bit tricky. And this is the first thing you should see. Seems like some sort of um, manual for the statue. Foam. And all the contents. Wow. Actually, some nice material here. 
<laughs> katana all right so i'm gonna go through all these items and as usual we'll go through each one one by one for those wondering if there's anything behind uh this there isn't it's just uh plastic and just be aware something i uh, should point out before going further um if you're going to remove the statue just know that there's uh things holding it in these rubber bands um they're put pretty well as well as th these these coins in the other hand um are very hard to remove at least in my case they're they're pretty damn difficult to remove um but yeah just be aware for the statue there's rubber bands holding it in pretty sturdy so now time to get to uh the rest of this uh, content so the first thing i'm gonna get through here is uh this item this is this was seen earlier um but uh this is just showing you where the uh bands are i wasn't really paying my to this i was just wondering what the heck this is now i know what it is um and also where you place the sword in um but yeah these these things are pretty tricky on to the next item um this was separate from the uh game and all but uh this is just pretty much i guess i'm um, getting it started or i guess technically a manual not really but um typical warning paper whatever on to the next thing uh now we're at the digital soundtrack um there's the code in the back i'm obviously not going to show it because i'm going to redeem it and uh, obviously hear the soundtrack but yeah it's a digital soundtrack i would have preferred a physical um soundtrack but whatever i mean it's digital so something is something i guess now on to the uh next item so now we're at these uh tokens or coins however you want to call it there's three of them uh they all have the same symbols so nothing too unique here they have some weight to them um as i said before these at least for me they're pretty difficult to remove from the package um they're pretty damn difficult they're in there like solid um they have some weight to it nothing too heavy they're pretty light um no numbering or anything on the back just cool coins to look at i guess you could use a rope to tie them together so you can have something to put next to the statue or however you want to display it or however you want to use it or just leave it in the box but uh, yeah these are the coins they're pretty nice now on to the uh, next item on to this next item and that is the collectible art book uh the material on this art book feels pretty good almost cotton like i'm pretty sure it is some sort of uh, cotton but um really good material here open it up and gives you a preview of what to expect store apparently let me strain this out story environment artwork and uh characters that's what you get in here take a look around i skip right to the end so just be aware there may be some spoilers <laughs> wow that is nasty look at that what the heck there's a lot going on here the weapon self um let's see what else more characters just me going through this quickly it's pretty nice actually that um castle and more artwork pretty much of the environments and whatnot so yeah this is the uh collectible art book in case y'all wondering uh true feels pretty good all right on to the next item all right so we're at the map and as you can see um yeah it's pretty thick uh as you can see there has this uh knot around it is obviously sealed um but the material feels uh questionable it definitely does it's questionable um it's not cloth um, but I'm not sure what exactly it is, so I'm going to remove the seal and uh, get to the map itself. 
so this is what the map uh, looks like. I had to use uh, two controllers to hold it down because this map folds right back up. Uh, it's pretty strong material, whatever it is. I'm sort of strong, pretty strong, however. So it's around that range. Uh, you want to take a closer, closer look, excuse me, at the map. It's pretty close view right there. A lot of it seems faded. Um, this would be something that you may want to consider putting in the frame if you're thinking of displaying it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I like the art. Let's zoom in a little bit more here. Get a view of this area. It's pretty nice. Look at that. Castle and everything. But yeah, that's that's the map. Now on to the uh, next item. All right, so now we're at the game itself. As you can see here, this is the steel book. Um, take a look around. Sekio shall die twice. As you can see there, the back. And if you open it, and you lay it out this way. Clear up the shot. That's what it will look like. And flip it around here. Uh, yeah, it's the game. Let's move the game here. It's the uh, art. I don't know if y'all can see it. There's like a nice, like bronze, kind of red going on right here. Um, but yeah, get the lighting. Maybe it'll be better seen. Nope. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, it's a pretty nice color in person. Uh, if you were to see like this bronze-ish red color, um, the game itself, of course. Gotta be careful when I put that back in. And the part that I like here is that um, they don't give you like an extra game case. Um, they actually put the game in the steel book instead of giving you like the game in, in its normal case and then a separate steel book. I always find that annoying because it's, it just takes up space in my opinion. But um, I'm happy that they actually put the game in the steel book, which saves me space. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering, the game will come in the steel book, not in a separate gaming, you know, the game in the typical case and then the steel book separate, just steel book itself. So yeah, and there's no manual. As you can see, there's no manual or anything. So uh, now on to the next item. So before the uh, me displaying or whatever, uh, I wanted to show off a few things here. As you can see, here's little details like that. I mean, it's pretty crazy right there. Look at that. Did a good job with the paint. Um, <laughs> he looks bored. <laughs> but uh, what I want to point out here is the bottom part. It's not numbered, so I have no idea how many of these are out there. Um, it would have been nice though if it was numbered like one of a hundred or one of four thousand or whatever the case is. But uh, yeah, it's not numbered. And don't know who, what company made this. Um, it just says from software, all rights reserved and uh, made in China. And Sekio shells die twice. There's no um, number. I mean, there is this, but uh, I don't. I'm not entirely sure. Excuse me, what that means. That could be like a serial number, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. It has these little uh, things here. So I want to point out little things. I mean, it has a lot of detail with the paint, as you can see. Uh, they did a good job with that, at least. But now it's time to display this statue, you know, do the typical rotation or look around.
the end of this unboxing. I have to say this is a pretty good uh, collector's edition. You get your money's worth, in my opinion. I'm very happy with it. Um, the pre-order bonus was also a nice compliment to the collector's edition. Um, even though the sword is dull, <laughs> it's not uh, sharp enough to cut open this uh, box, but obviously if you want it to, you know, to be sharp, you got to sharpen it. But uh, I'm not going to bother doing that. But it is a nice period of bonus. But the uh, collector's edition itself is uh, really good for uh, the price is worth. And the statue, surprisingly, is uh, well done. I would have liked, though, if it was numbered. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, really nice collector's edition. Anyways, um, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. Also, drop a like if you like what you're seeing here, of course. And as always, this is Ryuki here saying thanks for watching. And until next time, everyone, sayonara.